What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Heart Breathings. And this is, I can't believe it, the final notebook challenge video of the year. We have stuck with this an entire year. If you are brand new to this challenge, then welcome. It's basically a challenge where you know, we all have a jillion notebooks, or a lot of us do, that we just have never used because they're too pretty or they're too special, or, you know, we just have way too many, which is my case. And it's hard sometimes when you're a notebook person and you love them to pass by very cute notebooks, especially when there's a deal, because I just did this. Like, I part of this notebook challenge is that I'm not supposed to be buying new notebooks. But when I went to Michael's on Thanksgiving night, they had 30% off everything in the store. Um, including sale items. So these are only normally $5, but I got them for like $3 and something. And this one is a pretty pink dot grid notebook that has um, some little ribbons and an elastic closure. And then this one says it's just a phase and it has a moon on it and it's just a lined notebook. So I couldn't help myself. I got it. I only spent $6, but these will go on to my to use in uh, 2020 because I am not supposed to be buying new notebooks. But overall, I have done a great job using a lot of my notebooks this year. If you would like to join us starting now or starting in 2020 with our notebook challenge, then keep watching. So what we do in this challenge every single month is challenge ourselves to use up notebooks. Now you don't have to use a notebook every single month all the way to completion because sometimes it's going to take you several months to finish, especially a bigger notebook, but it's just an encouragement to get using those notebooks again. Start writing poetry if that's what you used to love to do. Start writing story ideas down. Start making lists of things that you need to get done or your goals or your hopes and dreams. There are so many different ways that you can use these notebooks to really support yourself in moving toward your dreams. And that's really what this is all about and just having fun with it. Because if you collect notebooks, it means you love them and it makes you excited. So let's start using them. So we're going to continue the notebook challenge in 2020. And I'm going to talk in this video a little bit about how it's going to change. But part of it is using up notebooks. And another part of it is I am have been giving away a notebook every single month. Now this will be another international giveaway for happy holidays. So you're welcome to enter down below. I'll go through the details of that um, at the end of the video, but I will be giving away this Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Notebook. It is a colorful um, that goes all the way from January 2020 to December 2020. And if you haven't seen my um, videos on the Deluxe Monthly Notebook before, this is like one of my favorite things from Erin Condren. So I'm going to show you a deeper look inside when we get to the top down part. Now I do have to just say, please excuse the state of my office. Um, if you watched one of my writing vlogs on my other channel, you know that I actually just cleaned my office, but then I've done some videos on like my hauls and the planner 101 videos, and I have not had time to clean everything up. So it is a disaster. This is not how it normally looks. So please just forgive me. It will get cleaned later this afternoon, but I wanted to get this video up first. So if you want to see what notebooks I'm using, kind of a review of how the year went, as well as an inside view of this deluxe monthly notebook that I'm going to be giving away, Stay tuned because I've got some fun stuff coming up. Okay guys, so let's go through some of the notebooks that I've been using and kind of wrap up the year. I'm not gonna do a total review of like all the notebooks that I used this year until January, if you guys wanna see that, but let's kind of just briefly go through some of the ones I've been using lately and what I'm planning to use in December. So again, one of the ones that I've been using kind of on a daily basis is the Erin Condren On The Go Folio, which this again, I'll mention is not quite exactly like true A5 size, but it's it's really close. They are really nice. I love these little folios and I've actually gotten several new things that are going to go into this one. And um, I don't know if I covered this in my Erin Condren like haul that I did recently, but they sent in the seasonal surprise box this kind of brown charcoal color one with the 2020 gold embossing on it and this was an exclusive thing to the surprise box so I don't think you're going to be able to buy this on the site but I might switch out to this one at the beginning of the year just because I love the 2020 <laughs> um, but I have a few other things that I'm going to use in here so I might be using a jump band I'll show you guys in January what all I'm going to use but the main one that I've been using in this one is the gratitude journal so I can kind of show you how far I've gotten um, 
So this is about two months of using it. So you can see I don't use it every single day. In November, I only probably did it maybe you know, six or seven days, but it's just the process of every once in a while thinking, okay, I am going to go in and intentionally write down something that I'm grateful for. And I like the prompts on this, but sometimes it'll be things like people I enjoyed today. And there won't be really anybody that I particularly enjoyed other than my family. So of course I can put them in there. But if I don't feel like following the prompt for that day, then I'll write something in this more blank space. So I've been really enjoying that. And because I'm going very slowly on it, I think that I'm going to be able to use this for a good portion of next year. So I'm just going to keep that going. But I never ended up really using this quarterly daily planner for anything. So sadly, it was just kind of a waste, um, which I kind of hate. So I'll probably hold on to it and see if I can redate it since it's not something that I used. And I hate to just like throw out or recycle something that didn't get used. So I'll probably just redate it and try to use it again next year and maybe cover this up with a sticker or something like that. These other two that are still in here, I still haven't started yet. So I'm just going to start those in 2020 along with with another journal that's on its way to me. So I've got that one. So the next journal that I showed you guys a while back and that I set up over on my Sarah Cannon channel is my kind of witchy bullet journal. And I have been keeping up with this really well. So I set this up I think in about June. So I have like some of the info on the moon phases that I go back and um, you know, reference every once in a while. Also, I had done some journaling about my word for the year. Let me know in the comments if you guys are picking a word for 2020. And if you want to see a video on, you know, choosing a word for 2020 and what my thought process has been as I choose my word, Emerge was my word for the year in 2019. And I'm kind of on the fence about my 2020 word. I have gone back and forth um, between words like surrender or allowing um, I really want to focus a lot in 2020 on kind of surrendering to the outcome because a lot of times, I mean, when I'm setting goals and stuff, I get so focused on trying to hit that outcome, like the number, you know, hitting this many sales, making this much money. It just begins to steal my joy when I'm thinking about, you know, that outcome too much, because the truth is I don't run this channel or do my books, like do my writing or any of this career solely for like money or any specific outcome deep down the reason that I do this is to try to be of service to other people and to explore the things that I love and if I can't be joyful and love the things that I am doing then there's no point in it I would never want to write something just for the sake of making money I would never you know have started this YouTube channel if I thought that it would just be about making money that's just not what I'm about and when I start to focus more on the business side of things like taking out ads and doing this and doing that and hustling and you know working hard on the business side of it all of that stuff can be important but when my focus goes there I start to lose my joy so emerge was really about like bringing forth this new side of myself having a baby moving to a new house you know just like a new side of me emerging what I'm looking at for 2020 is more of a word about surrendering to the outcome and surrendering just to the process of enjoying myself, serving others, putting good content out there that helps to change lives and knowing that I'm making a difference because that's really what's most important. And I want my focus to be there instead of on the outcome of the goals, like how much money did I make? How many sales did I make? You know, that kind of stuff. All that stuff is important because I am the sole income in my family and I need to make money and that's important, but I just don't want it to be the sole focus, if that makes sense. So anyway, I also had done a gratitude spread, but I did not, I intended to go back and add to it for out, throughout the rest of the year and I never did. So that was kind of like a failed spread. Um, magical circle. I never filled out the books to read. I never did. I ended up count, counting my daily tarot in a smaller notebook beside my bedside. So this didn't really work. So it was a lot of kind of like experimenting things that didn't totally work. But I really enjoyed doing this kind of uh, bullet journal spread with um, my tarot card draws for the day. And so I want to keep that up. So it's it's sort of like journaling but it's mostly like tarot card journaling and spiritual journaling, like where I am on my own, you know, self-improvement and spiritual journal. 
journey <laughs> and I do a reading every full moon every new moon um, and every night I draw at least three cards sometimes I'll put like quotes that meant something to me um, but I've kept up with this one almost better than any other journal um, so far so this has been really great and I've been really enjoying it so I'm going to keep up with that but I don't think in 2020 I am going to have it in this Archer and Olive bullet journal style. I think I'm going back to something more like a Hobonichi, but I'm going to have a glimpse into my 2020 planner lineup coming up. Um, I did a video on that last year and I really enjoyed doing it and a lot of people enjoyed watching it. So I'm going to do that again. So that'll be coming up if you want to see like which journals and planners I'm going to be using next year because there are a lot of them. Um, but I still have you know, several pages left in this. But what I've decided is I'm going to continue to use it through the end of this month. And then before the beginning of the year, if there are still pages left, I'm just going to fill them up with like quotes or something that will take up entire pages just so I can say that I finished the notebook and get that feeling of completion. But I will not be carrying this particular notebook into 2020. I also have not really updated you guys on this one at all. But this is a notebook. It's just a bando notebook that I got from um, um, home goods for like five dollars it's got the like wire o binding and it's just a notebook it just has plain white paper in it and i was using this for notes with um, meetings that i was having and power hours and stuff that i was having with this group i'm in called freshly implemented with um, amber McHugh. so it's kept all of those things but there's still a lot of pages left in it so i might continue using this notebook for that same purpose in 2020 or i might choose something different to use for it um, but since there's so many pages left um, I've kept up with it but I just haven't used a ton of it so I'll probably continue using this in the new year this one makes a reappearance of course I have been still trying to finish this notebook that I started in January you can see it's been kind of a fail and I was so hoping to finish this throughout the year but of course I lost to this one at first when we moved in, in June and so I kind of lost time on it if at all possible, I kind of want to start 2020 with like brand new notebooks, like not necessarily that I went out and bought, but just a fresh start because I love that at the beginning of the year. So I'm just got some thinking to do because I don't want to leave this one. You know, it's a little more than half finished, but I might just because I want to start fresh and I want that feeling. So we'll see. Another couple of journals or notebooks that you guys haven't really seen much that I have been using on a regular basis. This one is finished. Now this one was a cover for one of the notebooks, just the like regular um, happy notes notebooks. And I didn't want this stay humble, work hard, be kind cover on it because this was uh, a, like a notebook that I was using for my hypno babies, which is like hypnosis birthing, child birthing. So I turned it over and just use this pink and white stripe cover which I like better because with the happy planners you can um, just like Erin Condren you can change the covers out so this is a notebook it was a happy notes um, notebook and I added and printed out the hypno baby stuff now obviously I'm not using this anymore because my baby is three months old but it was just another notebook that I used this year like almost on a daily basis for a while that I didn't really update you guys with um, so I had a schedule for how I was going through the hypno babies course I used hypno babies with my son with my son's birth but that one ended in an emergency c-section after 36 hours of labor um, so I decided to use it again for my daughter and just to kind of show you like when I wanted to mark the different sections of the course I just put a strip of washi tape on the edges so that I could see but this is one of the things I love about stuff like the happy planner notebooks because you can use the paper that came with it but you can also add pages so I printed out all of the hypno babies coursework and added it to this notebook so I was able to take notes but I was also able to have my course notes and stuff here so this was a big big part of my life when I was preparing for um, childbirth with my daughter and I did end up having a totally unmedicated intervention free uh, VBAC with her which was exactly what I wanted and it was a very powerful experience so this was an important notebook to me I probably now that I'm through with it and won't be ever needing it again I will probably dismantle it and use the rings and the cover for something else next year another one in a similar way is I took this other happy notes 
notebook and turned it into a Final Fantasy gaming notebook. And you can see here, I just used my Cricut and some purple vinyl to put Final Fantasy XIV, which is the online game of Final Fantasy. And then I used the tabs to uh, keep track of different things like the levels of my characters, the different crafting stuff. Um, I am a gamer. I met my husband gaming and we've been kind of searching for another game that will be something that we could play together. So for a good deal of this year, we played Final Fantasy Online. Since the baby has come, we have not had as much time to play Final Fantasy together. So um, we've been more just like watching anime because it's much easier to watch TV while I'm holding her than it is to actually like game and be using the mouse and everything else. So we've been watching an anime called Bleach and we're on the third season now. So that's more of what we've been doing. But this notebook houses like a lot of my like leveling um, type information that I was working on different crafting classes and uh, my character leveling and things like that. So another notebook that I kind of um, repurposed. Now I did put larger rings on it because I thought I'd be adding more pages to it, but then I never really did. Uh, but gaming notebooks, another good idea if you are a gamer. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing in 2020, but hopefully once Evie gets a little bit older, we'll be able to get a little bit more back into gaming because I find as a writer that being in those sort of, since I write fantasy and paranormal, being in those like fantasy worlds is really awesome and it's a very creative outlet for me. So I love that. I just need to have time to do it. <laughs> Uh, another notebook that I've been using and trying to finish using up before the end of the year is the notebooks that are inside my Chic Sparrow Travelers notebook. Again, I'm just going to mention this a friend of mine here in Charleston that I've just recently met through Nano makes these beautiful uh, planner like doodads, I don't know, like charms and things like that. So she made this dragonfly one. She made this pretty felt one. And if you want to, I'm going to link to her shop down below. It's called Dragonfly and Acorn. And she's actually going to offer 10% off to anybody from my channel. So you just use the code Sarah10 and it's S-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. So I'll put all that down below. But next week, I'm also going to run a giveaway. She gave me a charm to give away that's similar to this, but it's got its own, you know, they're all different. Um, so I'll be giving that away on my channel. Lots of giveaways going on right now. Um, so uh, I've used this one throughout the year, but I just wanted to kind of use up as much of these notebooks as I can. So I didn't get to use any of these pages in this first notebook, but I'm hoping I can use that up before the end of the year. And then I've been using this one quite a bit throughout this month. So some of this has been about like things I want to focus on next year, like drinking more water, keeping all of my spaces clean. Like I do try to clean my office at least once a week, but it's just the more I record these videos that have a lot of things in them. I pull them out of their place and then it's hard to find the time to put them back. Um, I want to be more consistent about uploading on certain days. I want to write every day. I want to game more. I want to go to the beach more often. I want to meditate. I'm putting together like a meditation space. And I just last night ordered a meditation uh, mat and pillow because it's something I want to do more. So I've been writing stuff like that in this notebook of things that I want to focus on and also like brainstorming my 2020 word for the year and stuff like that. So I still have some pages left. So we'll see if I can finish that up before the beginning of the year. I also just ordered a new Chic Sparrow because they were having 30% off and I thought, oh, this will be great because it's purple. It's that Outlander leather. So I'll show you guys when I get that in. This composition style Webster's pages uh, cover is making a comeback because as I've mentioned for the last couple of months, I really want to start using this one again. This is a May Designs notebook and they come in like you can customize the cover, which is kind of like a textured cardstock, I guess you could say. It's not super heavy, but it's, you know, it's not like a board either. It's just like a, like a cardstock piece of paper and they come in lined dot grid, um, graph paper, blank paper, I think you can get like, you can customize this quite a bit. And I want to start reading through my Shadow Demon Saga again, because I'll be starting this next book in the series, book 11 in January. So um, a lot of notes are going to get started in that. I'm hoping that I can start it in at the end of this month because I'm finishing up book three of my Eternal Sorrow series and I'm going to start prepping for this, but it really just depends. It's been much harder to write on a consistent basis with a tiny baby at home and I'm just trying to give myself space and not like beat myself up about not being able to do a lot because 
my priority right now is spending time with Andrew and Evie, which are my two children. So I'm not going to get mad at myself. I'm just going to keep moving along, keep moving forward every day. And I know that this notebook will start to get used soon. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> May Designs had kind of a big, um, I think it was like 30% off sale for Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff. And it may still be going on when I upload this. I'm not sure because I kind of backed away from the website because I still have several of these May Designs from two Black Fridays ago that I have used but they're just so pretty and you can get so many different designs on them that I was thinking about getting some more but then I was like okay Sarah step back you don't need it you've already got some you can use for next year so I was very proud of myself that I resisted that so overall those are the notebooks that I'm going to be using this last month of the year I'm mostly going to be trying to finish the traveler's notebooks in here I'm going to keep chipping away at this notebook in freshly implemented we have a virtual retreat going on next week so I know I'm going to fill up probably five or ten more pages in this notebook and I've got the daily gratitude notebook that I'm using so that's kind of where I'm focusing right now so now let's talk briefly about the notebook that I'm giving away so the giveaway notebook this week is actually kind of like a planner slash notebook and I've covered mine that I use several times um, in this notebook challenge if you want to see a more in-depth view of it but this is the Erin Condren deluxe monthly planner it's more of like a planner notebook hybrid it it has their like really quality coil. I have the gold coil on this one. The cover on this one can be interchanged. So if you win this one and you want one that has your name on it, which they can customize or a different design, then you can order one for, I believe, $8 that gives you the front and back covers. And then you just pop this off and put it on here. So you can order new covers for it if you'd like. Just to give you an idea of it, this is their colorful deluxe monthly planner that has a lot of really beautiful their this year's kaleidoscope design it has um, july 2019 all the way to december 2020 calendar in the front it has some um, like future planning or goal setting section that you can do here then it has a notes page and then it starts the month so at the beginning half of this notebook planner there are just monthly spreads now i use this for my content and publishing schedule so like I plan on my YouTube videos in one of these and I plan all of my like promotions and writing schedule for Sarah Cannon career, you know, for my writing career in one of these. Then there's the monthly spread with a little section for notes over here. And I find this great for, you know, putting a little sticker on here and then saying like YouTube video comes out here. I've got a 99 cent promotion running here. I've got an Apple Books promotion running here. And then I can get a good glance without having to add that stuff to my main planner. Now it does actually go in my main planner as well, but there's so many things on my main planner that I can't keep like what's my publishing stuff straight. Even if I color code, it's just hard to like look at it at a glance and put together my strategy. So that's why I love having this but really you could use it for any type of project that you're running, even if you're not a writer. So it has that monthly spread. And then instead of having weekly spreads like a normal planner, it just has one, two, three, four, five notes pages. So you can write strategies down. You can write ideas on my um, heart breathings version of this planner. I will write out the outlines for my videos and that sort of thing then it repeats that for every single month with a different color and then at the back of the planner it has a little tab here that says notes that has a future planning section from all of 2021 if you want to write like when you're pub you know when you're hoping to publish certain books or anything like that and then the rest of this entire planner is just lined notebooks pages um, so I love to do all my brainstorming, all my content planning. I will write here ideas for books I have, ideas for videos or blog posts or promotions that I want to run or cool events or giveaways and all of that goes in here. But even if you were like, say, remodeling your house, you could put the schedule that the workers are going to be going. You could brainstorm here about the colors that you wanted or, you know, different rooms like separated into different rooms of your house and what things you're going to do. Or if you were planning a wedding, you could do it in here. There's tons of options for what you could do with this. I just happen to use it for my like content planning. And then it comes with stickers in the back. If you order one of these from Erin Condren, I think it only comes with like 40 notebook pages. But what's cool about this notebook planner is that you can add additional pages for like $5. So I always add the max amount that you can add. And then you've got some stickers that come with it and a folder in the back. 
and then the back cover. So this cover is actually one that came with the seasonal surprise box for the winter seasonal surprise box. So this is an exclusive cover. You can't actually like buy this in the store. So I put it on this cover or put it on this planner for you. It's a gold, like a gold and black cover. So this is the giveaway for this month and I'm offering it um, internationally. So all you have to do to enter to win is just comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like this video and then comment down below and I will choose one winner on December 10th. I'll put your name at the top of the description as well as replying to your comments so that you can um, see that I replied and then you can just email me and send me your address and I will send this off to you. So an exciting giveaway this time. I super love this sort of hybrid notebook planner and it's super nice quality. I think somebody's really gonna love this and I might throw in some extra like stickers and washi tape with it. So good luck. I wish I could give one to everybody. <laughs> okay guys, that's it for this month's notebook challenge. I cannot believe believe that we made it all the way through the year and that we are moving on to not only a new year, but a brand new decade. It is just so crazy to me. So if you want to enter to win the Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Notebook, then just go ahead and comment down below and I will choose a winner on December 10th. So make sure that you come back to check and I'll also leave your name in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you guys have enjoyed and been inspired by the notebook challenge this year. Um, I think that if you really do love notebooks, then you know you gotta start using them. If you've stopped writing for some reason or you've been scared to follow your dreams and you used to love to write or you really love to journal or you love to draw in your notebook and things like that, then get back to it because this is something that you were meant to do. If you're drawn to it, then it's something that you truly were meant to do. And I would love to see you get back into it. And if using up these gorgeous notebooks that you have, and truthfully, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a $50 notebook like this one, or if it's something that you got for $3, it can bring the same amount of joy to you and it can support you in the same way. The key is just to start writing again. And like I said, for fun in 2020, we're also going to add a pin challenge to the notebook challenge. It'll all be in the same video. But what I'd like to do is, you know, if you also are a pin collector and you have pins that you've been kind of hoarding or, you know, you don't have time to use them all up, then we're going to make an effort to not only use notebooks next year, but to use the pins that you really love and to dig them out of drawers or go find them, maybe get a pretty little cup holder or something. Like I got this one that says write from Ray Dunn. I got it. Whoops. I got it from um, Home Goods for $5 and, you know, put all the pins that you really want to use that maybe you haven't been using because they're too precious or um, you just don't want the ink to run out. Like a lot of pins like this one from Simply Gilded, I love it, but, you know, sometimes I don't want to use the nicer pins that I have, but this can be refilled. So, you know, just use up the pins that you love. You can always buy more. I am so glad that you guys have enjoyed this challenge. If you are participating in the month of December, then please tag me over over on Instagram at heartbreathingsblog and show me what notebooks you're using. You can use the hashtag HB notebook challenge and we're going to carry this tradition into 2020 and hopefully have a lot of fun with that. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be giving away pens with the notebooks next year because I don't want to give away a pen that I've like partially used and I don't know if I have like stashes of pens that haven't been used at all but we'll see kind of how it goes with the giveaways. Definitely still continue to give away notebooks next year every single month and I hope you guys have enjoyed that. All right I have talked enough and you've had lots of long videos from me. So um, hopefully you've been enjoying them. There is a lot more to come. I wanted to announce that on December 8th, which is this Sunday coming up, I will be doing a 2020 publishing plan live video. This is something that I did last year too. So I'll be giving away a free sort of workbook where you can, if where if you're a writer, you can plan out your writing schedule for next year. And it doesn't matter if you're ready to publish or if you're just enjoying your writing, but I'm going to go through some tips about how to plan like a realistic writing schedule for yourself for next year. And like I said, that will come with a free workbook. Also next Thursday, December 12th, my HB90 productivity boot camp starts. It's a three day boot camp. And once you purchase it, you have access for a lifetime. So you never have to purchase it again, even if I totally update the course. And it also comes with a free Q1 HB90 printable planner. And even better, it comes with lifetime access to our Facebook group, which is 
over 350 members strong now. And it is a great place where you receive support from me throughout the entire year. Every single week, there's an accountability post and it's a great community. If you really have been looking for a way to make your dreams come true, to really hit your goals, to manage your time better, and to really get things done without feeling so overwhelmed you know, and so stressed, then this is the course for you. I would love for you to join our community. So there is a link down below also to join the HB90 Bootcamp. Registration will be open until um, December 12th around midnight. So right now for this round, I am offering $20 off when you click that link down below and that discount is good until registration closes. So I would love to have you join us. Get ready to start 2020 off with a bang, like your very best year ever. Um, truthfully, when I started using HB90 in my own life, when I first started to you know, coming up with this system, I absolutely started getting more done in a single quarter than I had in the previous three years combined. So definitely a powerful system. I really hope that you'll come join us and see what it's all about. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.